Good morning. Friday, Friday. The kids are dropped off at school and I'm out doing my normal morning activities. Another observation I wanted to make this morning is that the time is still on California time in my car, even though I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, right now it says it's 5.29 a.m. and I can assure you that it is not 5.29 a.m. It's really 8.30 in the morning. Uh, we picked up the car Wednesday afternoon and um, they told us that it would get around to changing itself and that's fine you know I figured overnight Wednesday then I figured overnight Thursday and here it is Friday morning and the time is still not right um, I did research and apparently there's no way to set it so we continue to wait patiently for the time to change I mean it's not a big deal right because usually I'm looking at my phone for the time or you know, I know what time it was when I got in the car. I know what time it is because of the light in the sky, but it would be nice if the car would um, catch up to local Raleigh, North Carolina time. I thought I'd give autopilot a test for the first time. This is a road close to our house. Um, it's well marked. It's got a reasonable speed limit. And um, let's see what she does. Seems to be working properly. Recognizing the lines, driving the car. I am going a little slow for the posted speed, but now there's a railroad crossing ahead up here, so I'm probably going to go ahead and hit the brake so I can slow up for that. But I would say that was a good initial first pass at engaging autopilot. Yay! I've been driving by the Fuquay Verena Police Department this week noticing a Model S Performance Series and I'm curious about who drives it. So I thought I'd go in and ask and make a new friend today. This car is really sweet. Um, they blacked out the chrome on the back with um, carbon fiber and um, painted the Tesla red and it uh, looks good. So let's go see who owns this car. So I promised myself with the new car that I would not be shy and that I would make friends with people and talk about the car. Um, so I did go inside the Fuquay Verena Police Department and spoke with the receptionist. She was really sweet but camera shy. Um, the officer that owns the Model S Performance Series is out um, on patrol right now, but she's going to pass on my name and phone number. And she was um, nice enough to come out and uh, check out the car. Um, seems to know a little bit about cars and was interested, so that was really fun. Really enjoyed talking with her. Uh, she has five kids, and she has a 13-year-old son that's near the age of my boy. So, uh, you know, uh, there's a... A hit for the car today and making a new friend and um, getting out and about and talking to the people in our community so that was a good thing and um, I'm sure the officer will give me a call and then maybe I can come down and um, talk to him and uh, he's apparently done a lot of um, aftermarket um, additions to his car so it would be interesting to uh, chat with him about those so anyway it was a good experience and uh, I'll follow up more with that later So I thought I'd take a drive out to Jordan Lake um, with my camera and do a little testing on autopilot. Uh, I um, currently have 206 mile range approximation on the battery and I know that it's not that far there and back but I thought just for grins I'd go ahead and 
plug in where I was going uh, just to get used to this so when I do have to care about battery um, I'll know what I'm doing and be 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 ready for it so go ahead and favorite that because I'm sure that's a place I'm gonna go to more than off more than once oh great it thinks I'm out in the middle of the lake isn't that interesting um, hmm so let's try that again yeah so I guess uh, State Park main office that might be a better choice Okay, so it says it's 21 miles, about 25 minutes. I should have 63% of my battery when I get there still. Um, it would be interesting here if I could click. So I was basically interested in a round trip, um, but uh, 21 miles away, obviously, I have plenty of battery to get there and back. So. Uh, We'll head on out, and uh, it's shaping up now to be a pretty day, and maybe I can uh, get a few good pictures out there. So, the route that it mapped out for me uh, is Highway 64. It's the expected route. It's fast, safe, and plain Jane, in my opinion. So. I want to take uh, the back roads out past um, Sharon Harris Nuclear Power Plant and scenic countryside. So I'm interested to see here how this is going to remap itself. Well, I did make it out to Jordan Lake and I walked by um, campsite 21 at Parker's Creek. There's an osprey nest there. I saw them, but I didn't get any good pictures. Um, so I think it's time to head on back toward the house. The boys will be getting out of school in a little while and um, I want to be there for them. But it was uh, nice to just stand there and look out over the over Jordan Lake for a little while and just enjoy a nice uh, early summer's day. So I came home from my trip to Jordan Lake and Don thought he might like to drive the Tesla today. <laughs> so we're out running some errands in Fuquay and uh, enjoying a pretty but warm uh, sunny summer afternoon. 
So I have an observation about YouTubing in the car. Uh, in order to get good sound quality, you really need to not have the climate control fan motor on super high because then you get all this noise in the background. So um, I've got it on a one speed now, but it's a little warm in the car. We might would like it higher. Don is ignoring what I've done now and putting it on high anyway. Four. Right. <laughs> gotta have some air. So I wondered if you other YouTubers out there were ever hot in the car because you're trying not to create too much fan no motor noise in the background. So did you watch any good YouTubes today on Tesla? Never saw a single YouTube today. Did not get to watch YouTubes today. Okay. Well, what? usually I rely on Don for all of my Tesla news. Um, Cruise not available. Autos that are temporarily not available. So we've gone, um, well, last I looked this morning, we'd gone about 90 miles. But I'm sure we're well over 120 now. I'll pull up the, uh, t the Tesla app. But uh, we do have autopilot available and I did um, drive with it some today um, so that was um, interesting yeah, I want to figure out how to make autopilot work and stop and go traffic right we've got 128 miles on Ruby now yep so I didn't uh, previously say but Ruby is the name of our car and that's for the Wizard of Oz because of Dorothy's red uh, slippers, red shoes, clicker heels, and it brings her home. So if I'm out and about, and uh, I, you know, Ruby will bring me home to Donnie. That's what I thought that would be a really good name for my beautiful red car. Right. So, I'd like to say, as a bald guy, no hair. That the I don't feel the sun on my head through the windshield. I'm very pleased with that. The filtering um, is pretty good. Now, um, just as of course we're talking about this, there's a cloud over our head, but up until just a minute ago, it wasn't cloudy. Anyway. Yeah, we have those big Carolina white fluffy cotton ball yeah, clouds out there today in the in the sky. It's really pretty. So the sun's been coming in and out all day today. 